Welcome to this shortwave radio channel and uh, one of the things I wanted to talk about here is magnetic loop antennas and why am I actually first of all I, I'm using one right now the W6 LVP loop and also why I've ordered an MLA 30 loop uh, from China and why am I um, kind of testing these out so of course for a lot of us we are living in a world full of noise and we have one of the probably the biggest problems to deal with is the fact that we're trying to listen to weak signals but we're getting more and more noise in the background when listening to signals it's getting more and more difficult in our hobby so how do you deal with noise well there's you know a few things you can do that try to lower the noise but there's a limit where you just can't do anything anymore and that's where the antenna can be part of one of the ways of reducing the noise so magnetic loop antennas are good for that this is where magnetic loop antennas uh, come into play so there's of course passive magnetic loop antennas and there's active magnetic loop antennas the difference is one amplifies the signals received the other one doesn't amplify them it just receives them but one of the designs of loops is that they are very directional that means that in most cases if you have noise you might be able to actually lower noise by positioning the loop antenna correctly and when that is done and when that works it actually is a great thing because it might actually give you back a little more of your radio listening experience now I've purchased a W6 LVP loop that I've reviewed and um, one of the first things that I did notice is that even though it's not a miracle antenna because that I, I want to really stress out on that it, there, that that's no miracle antenna in some cases the noise is so high it's still there in my case here I still have high noise with the loop but it actually gives me a stronger signal on some frequency ranges so what we call the signal to noise ratio is better so even though I still have a lot of noise even though and it is lower I gotta say that I got a couple of S units of noise that is lower on a magnetic loop coupled with the fact that on many frequency ranges of shortwave the signals are actually stronger on the loop that means that I actually am getting back some of my shortwave listening not all of it I would have enjoyed it to be even better than that but it at least gave me some more power over listening to shortwave so magnetic loop antennas can be interesting for that because you can uh, lower the noise or what we call null the noise where I do see the uh, magnetic loop antenna in the case of my W6 LVP loop at least is in the lower frequencies um, it is a most amazing antenna below 5 megahertz and I could see that uh, magnetic loop antennas are probably very good uh, for medium wave listening because of two things lower noise and the directional antenna makes it easy to null out the station and listen to another one which is kind of interesting so magnetic loop antennas are interesting they aren't miracle antennas once again uh, I am really really anxious to uh, test the ML830 because of its low price I mean that gets into more of the affordable side of things for um, antennas and for uh, anybody that is looking into maybe getting a loop antenna because you know we got to we got to be honest here Wellbrooks and and W6 LVP loops are very expensive and uh, you know if you got a hundred dollar radio you're not gonna spend 400 bucks for an antenna let's face it but if you have a hundred dollar radio you might be thinking a sixty dollar loop antenna might be interesting and that's why the MLA 30 is an antenna that I will be testing on the channel here because you know uh, we'll try to have the best um, the best information for all of you and who knows maybe it's gonna be an interesting and amazing antenna to test out if you enjoy our videos please subscribe give us thumbs up thank you for watching